Hey, need some Madden coins? Check out CheapMaddenCoins.com. They got the best prices, they got fast delivery, and 24-7 custom support. Be sure to use code TEXAS at checkout for a 10% discount. Yo, what's happening, folks? Texas but now one here back on the Madden. We just got done grinding. We are now level 52, which I do not think is the max. People don't think it's the max as well. I think what EA is going to be doing is trying to prevent people from farming these solos by slowly increasing the level cap. If they try this for next year, because usually this is where we, we see some new things that EA is trying to maybe implement in next year's Madden. This might be something they do next year because they don't want people out here playing one solo over and over and over and over and over and over again to level up. And the way to fix that isn't to try to kind of slow roll level up, it's to kind of fix your damn game. But it, this is easier. This is much easier just to kind of prevent us from grinding as much as we want, which, because at, we had Jake on a podcast and he talked about this. His whole point of the level up process was not intended to have people out here grinding it all in one day. It's going to happen because that's kind of how things operate, but that wasn't what his goal was. So I can understand why they're trying it this way. Uh, and this time around, we got some pretty good rewards. So if you hit level 52, not only did you get 400,000 coins for free, you also got two Ultimate Legend packs, which are a $40 value. Now, my packs are trash. I mean, I'm not going to spoil anything else because I got some other good stuff that it's been money on, which you guys can check out here on this YouTube channel. Subscribe if you guys happen to be new. But also on top of that, we got some uniforms in the game that I think are kind of long overdue. I Again, I really wish these things were dual cam over just single cams, but maybe we'll get uniforms in the future, maybe at level 55, which may be the max. EA advertised around, what, Christmas time on their website about Ultimate Freeze. 55, that was the one thing I saw there. So I assume eventually we'll end up getting level 55 as the max. But no, in February, I think that's when they dropped level 50 as the max. Not 55, level 50. And so it takes a while to get this stuff out, but long overdue. And I guess it's not, not glad to be in the game right now. But yeah, so we got these solos that you unlock in level 52, which gives you a choice to choose your offense and defensive chemistries uh, times three. And I don't know what exactly that I want to do with it because I'm over here looking at it and toughness is obviously the best one to choose long-term wise because speed is gonna be top tier, especially because the way they kind of play this game or introduce the game, a lot of these cards that are coming out are gonna already have high tier block shit, high tier man coverage, high tier zone coverage, the zone doesn't matter the pressure, that certain thing. But already having all these high tier stuff and it just doesn't really seem worth it to choose anything else but this toughness times three. But the way that my team is kind of shaping up right now, I thought we had Bulldogs. I'm pretty sure Bulldogs came out originally, right? This has to be an original. Let me see, hold on. Let me see. Yeah, we yeah, already have Bulldogs, so we already have these uniforms in the game. No, what? That's not, that's not times three. That's not times three, I think that's times two. But I didn't pick my defensive one yet, because they don't usually show the ones in the pack. Anyway, way that my team is shaping up right now, I don't know exactly what is going to be the best choice. The only one that makes sense is toughness right now, but I don't know if I want to make that, that decision. So post down to the comment section below which chemistry uniform you'll be choosing to make it happen. Because I still want to use my Jags team training, but the way my team is set up right now, the players that I got, Nat, don't have the, the chemistries I want. So like, if they would have gave Telvin Smith blanket coverage and physical front or blanket coverage and toughness, or even blanket coverage and read and react, I would have been a little bit more happy than three times blanket coverage. Sean Taylor still only has one chemistry on him. Same thing with my Ray Lewis that I pulled. Nap. Spoiler alert, has one chemistry on him. Same thing with Linville Joseph. Same thing with K1 Short. And so, I, and then until we get, what, Chris Harris, uh, Richard Sherman, or anybody else at this spot with two kids, like I'm kind of stuck as it is. So I don't know exactly the direction I'm gonna go with my uniform. So I might just keep it, because as of right now, I don't really need to pick anything. But for those that didn't know, if you go ahead and level up to level 52, you get a lot of coins, you get some packs, but the best thing is you get uniforms to improve your team's chemistry if you're struggling to get to a max tier because of a lot of the players they drop are kind of being inconsistent with what they give them chem wise so hopefully next year level up or level yeah is a, is a better direction into it is a better um, use of your xp you can probably, hopefully you can spend your xp next year and then re-level back up so that way you're not kind of just stuck in a rut because you could spend some xp on like some oh spend level 52 spend 
26 of your XP for 95 overall, and you level up again, that would be really dope. And you don't get any rewards, but you could just get exclusive prizes. Kind of how MLB has ticket systems you can go and buy players for just playing the game. That would be kind of dope. But hey, a lot of time to see what they do in Madden next year. Um, and yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Get your uniforms, and then I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.